looks like it's gonna rain. Let me get a quick mow in during my lunch hour. And I wanted to show you guys the progress on what the T-Zone did to the lawn. It's really noticeable in the front lawn and in the back, the grass is just hurting. It's been really, really hot. The humidity has been pretty high, but it's just not raining. Today, it looks like it's gonna rain. It's our sky. It's definitely gonna come down. I'm gonna try and get this mode done before it starts raining. But like I said, I wanna give you guys a quick update on the T-Zone progress. You can see right there that line of, uh, of brown, I guess, is like a stripe. You can definitely see how it hurt things. This stuff right here is uh, lightened up. And then we've got a bunch of stuff going on back over here. You can see where the weeds have been really affected. And it's all of the places where we had our irrigation put in. So you can see the exact line of where that is. We also have a bunch of clover here. And it looks like it actually hit the clover pretty good. So overall, this stuff worked pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do another application of it, but uh, I wanted to show you guys the back. This heat is really, really screwing with the perennial ryegrass. It is not meant to be in 90 plus degree temperatures with a heat index of 105, which is what we got yesterday. Today is a little bit cooler, only because of cloud cover, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's hot. So when you look down, it's not too bad, but as you look down, onto it from above you can see where it's really really hurting we're just trying to make it uh where it survives this is uh our flower bed that we're starting to work on put down some some mulch just to get some cover on there and as we walk back here you can definitely see how the t-zone worked on it uh, i do have a bunch of nuts edge right there you can kind of see it popping up but you know the areas that i seeded late in the summer there there's a little bit of coverage but not a lot at least it's not washing out and that's really what i'm i'm worried about but where you can really see how the t-zone affected everything is right back in here you see how that is uh it's it's all discolored which is what i want and so we're just going to keep working on controlling weeds and getting ready for the fall and then back here we still have quite a bit of weeds that uh we're gonna have to deal with and uh, we'll, we'll keep attacking those. And then we are also prepping the flower beds up here, which will look nice once we get to it. But we, like I said, we put down a bunch of mulch just to try and suppress some of the weeds in there. So today's task is really just to do a quick mow. I'm gonna bag everything back here simply because it's, it's got a lot of leaves. And so I wanna pick up all of that stuff. And then you saw, I don't know if you saw right there, uh, a couple of the branches fell down. So uh, I'm going to have to pick those up and just clean things up. But overall, we're just going to use, I'm not going to use the uh, the manual rail mower just because there's a lot of debris and that thing tends to bind up and I need to collect a bunch of stuff. So that's why I'm going to bag it. Let's get to all that stuff and uh, try and knock this out before I get drenched. And even if it rains, I don't really care. It's, it's nice to cool off a little bit. So let's get to it.
right, folks. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, this is a lesson in humility because I went last year from having probably the best lawn I've ever had to this year where I'm having a lawn that at best is on the struggle bus. But, you know, I just got to be patient. I've got about six more weeks before I can really start tackling redoing this lawn up front. The back, you know, it hates the heat. We knew this was going to happen, right? I mean, I, I kept saying, throwing out caveats when I was doing the perennial ryegrass out back that it was going to be a struggle and that I probably wasn't going to have it work. The truth is I've got a little bit of grass. I'm trying to hang on to what I have with the irrigation and then we're going to just see what we can do. But for now, I mean, we're just going to keep trying to maintain it, keep trying to throw some supplements into the soil so that we can prepare it for the fall. And that's about as much as I can really hope for. Uh, I mean, right now being green is a good thing. And we'll keep mowing it and at least leaving it short and have it look at least somewhat decent. We've got a few other projects that we're continuing to work on. Obviously the shark shed, you know, there's quite a bit there. I haven't shown you guys any updates on that other than the video I just put out uh, this past Saturday. So hopefully you're getting some idea there, but just to give you a verbal update, here, I'll just give you a quick little peek. That's all I can tell you right now, but you know, we're getting there. So that project, as soon as I wrap that up, then I can start going back to doing some of the planters got to add a few more plants up here to make this fill in a little bit more. We're debating on whether we're going to do this front porch here soon. Uh, I've got a contractor that I talked to that's doing something similar to a house in a neighborhood near us. And so he's going to come back with an estimate and there's a possibility that we'll do the porch this fall, which means that that would actually push back some of the things that we do up here. But at least we can get the backyard going and if I have to, I can at least suffer through another season up here of fescue as you guys can see i mean a lot of things that i do are just kind of by the seat of my pants and not a lot of planning involved um, other than what i can do i mean we bought this house without really thinking that we were going to buy it uh we've we've uh you know kind of decided on different kinds of grasses i thought i was going to do bermuda and here we are not doing bermuda and so there's just a lot of things that we just kind of let the uh spirit move if you will um and then we just decide how we're going to handle things but we're gonna take the opportunities as they come and then we will adjust from there. So I hope you guys really just enjoy uh, the following along in this crazy journey. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like it. It really does help me out from a YouTube algorithm standpoint. And if you have not subscribed yet and I've earned your subscription, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna take it that one step further and you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell and we will see you on the next one. I hope you have a Really good and blessed week this week, and we'll talk to you soon.